Hey guys, Todd Helms with Eastman's Hunting Journals out here today to bring you another gear review, this time on the Leupold BX4 Range HD Range Finding Binoculars. Hey, while I got you here, drop down, mash that subscribe button, flip on that notifications bell so you get notified every time we drop awesome gear reviews like this one. Make sure you leave us a comment down in the comments section, let us know what you thought of this review and anything else from Leupold that you might want to see us take a look at. Also check us out on social media, Instagram, Facebook. Don't forget we've got a full slate of podcasts as well, up to six or seven now, I believe, and you can get those anywhere that you get your podcasts. You've of course got Eastman's Elevated, you've got my podcast, the Wingmen Podcast, Ike's new podcast, which is the Eastman's Hunting Journal Podcast, the Western Huntsman Podcast, and for you Predator guys, we've got Eastman's Predator Pros. You can get those podcasts anywhere that you get your podcasts, Make sure you check them out because we got some great guests and some awesome episodes for you. All right, so the BX4 Range HD is Leupold's entry into the range finding binocular category. And like I said, you guys know I'm a Leupold fanboy. Man, I've liked their stuff for a long time. I've been using Leupold longer than I've been working at Eastman's, a lot longer. And so to get a product like this to be able to test is kind of a dream come true for me, to be real honest and this one doesn't disappoint. You know, sometimes in the rangefinding binocular category, there's hits and misses with rangefinding binos, and I was curious to see how these from Leupold would stack up to others that I have tried and used, and I've gotta say, I'm impressed so far. I got these late winter. I wish I'd have had them last fall to use on hunting trips, but I didn't, so I got them late winter. I've been running them on turkey hunts this spring for wingmen, which you think, man, a range finding binocular for turkey hunting? Yeah, okay, maybe I'm not ranging 500 yards to see where my gobbler is, but man, the optical quality of these is top notch, and that's where they shined on my turkey hunts. Being able to pull them up and glass for, glass for turkeys in a variety of scenarios, optical quality is important. It's not a big bird. Sometimes you're looking for just pieces of them. But getting back to the big game application of things, these things, the glass is super bright, super clear, very similar to the gold ring spotter that I have next to me, and the Santium, the BX5 Santium lineup of optics from Leupold as well. Just top tier glass, guys, and I've come to expect that from Leupold, and I haven't been disappointed. When I pulled these up right out of the box and I take them out to places like this where I have big vistas back behind me, the optical quality just shines, absolutely shines. First blush at the ranging instruments seem to be extremely accurate, very, very fast computer in here, and the software seems to be just dialed. There's no misses in this thing so far that, I, that I've found, and I'm happy with that. But I'm gonna walk you down through some of the product specs and some of the things, just the nitty gritty on these so you can get a feel for it, and then you can go to Leupold's website, or better yet, Go pick up a pair of these in a store someplace, get them outside, and start ranging targets and looking. Go see for yourself. I think you're gonna be impressed with how clear and bright and crisp the optical quality is in these things. So one of the unique things about the Leupold BX4 Range HD is the range buttons are ambidextrous. I can switch this, it's got, it comes from the factory set up this range button set up on the right hand most people are right-handed you just reach up and operate the button that way but if you're left-handed and you prefer your button your range button to be on the left side you can switch it all you gotta do is walk through the steps in the owner's manual and lickety split you've got a left-handed range finding binocular i haven't seen that in the industry yet good on leupold for thinking about you lefties out there now obviously like i said this is high definition, high clarity glass, top notch. But one of the things that I really appreciate about this, if you've used a range finding binocular in bright daylight, the red LED readout can be really hard to see. Not the case with these. I was ranging stuff under really bright conditions when we first got here, because this is the brightest light that I've, well, until the storm rolled through, this is the brightest light that I've had an opportunity to put these to use in and that red LED just pops. There's no more taking a range and then having to go to a dark, having to like scan down to a darker image or darker like into the grass or something so you can see your readout. 
I don't have to do that with the Leupold BX4 range. It's bright, it just pops. But it's also adjustable and I can turn it down if I want it lighter under low light conditions. And it's simple, you just toggle through the menu with the right side. It's all laid out for you in the owner's manual of these binoculars, so I'm not gonna go through it here, but I have played with it and it's easy to use. A lot of times you get into the you get into the computer side of these range finding binos and you can get lost or you can get messing with settings you don't want to mess with. Not so with these. This is really straightforward, really simple. Leupold wanted to produce a very user-friendly, very high quality item with the BX4 Range HD and I think that they've knocked it out of the park. It's easy to use, very high quality glass and a very easy to see readout. So, you might be asking me, Todd, that's great, phenomenal glass, it's got all these great characteristics, performs well in extreme conditions, but how far does it range? Well, tripoded it up when we first got here, I was playing with it, and I was able to get a range on an antelope out here over my right shoulder at like 903 yards. Now, that's a long ways, and handheld, I don't think I could have pulled that off, but having something solid like a tripod to rest this on, I was able to get that range. Now I was also able to range a big boulder out to almost 2,000, it was like 1,900 and some. Again, tripod it up. Leupold says that these are good to like 2,400 yards on a big solid item like a cliff face or a boulder and about 1,500 on trees and about 1,100 on something like a deer. So I thought, well 1,100 on a deer, if I can pick those antelope up, we should be good to go. And I was, I was able to get like a 902 or three yard range on the antelope. That's pretty impressive. That's further than I'm gonna shoot, especially under these conditions that I've got today with, these, with this big thunderstorm barreling down on me. So that is the performance of the rangefinder, how far I can use it. Again, for me, I really like the simplicity of this rangefinder. So the TBR slash W stands for True Ballistic Range and Wind. And this is going to give me a very simple, very easy to manipulate readout that I can correlate either to an MOA dial, a CDS dial, or my favorite, the Boone and Crockett reticle in the Leupold rifle scopes that have proven for me to be extremely accurate and very trustworthy. In a hunting scenario, in a hunting scope, I want to range and shoot. I don't want to have to dial and make a bunch of corrections or have my rangefinder do a bunch of math for me that could be wrong. I want a range and shoot. That's what I love about the true ballistic range capability or TBR of the Leupold product. I was ranging the same rock face over here and I just kept hitting it over and over and over and over and over and I was getting the exact same readout every single time. It's nice to know that when you pop a range, it's gonna be as accurate as it can possibly be. Whether you're hunting with this optic or whether you're running a match with this optic, it's going to work and it's going to get you first shot hits as many times as you can pull that trigger. Now, like I said, I haven't been able to hunt with these other than turkey hunting. I'm looking forward to using them in the field this fall on whatever tags I get lucky enough to draw really stoked about that because I can't wait to put that simplicity of the TBR and the accuracy of the TBR to use on my hunts. The other thing I like about this BX4 range HD is they're pretty light guys. They're like 39 ounces listed on the, in the specs on the website and I didn't weigh them on a postal scale. I just know that when I drop them in my chest rig, I really, I forget that I'm even wearing them. Now, you think you might be saying all oh, 39 ounces that's pretty heavy Todd for a binocular and you're right if you're talking about traditional non range finding binos but when you put the range finder in the binocular you're cutting down the amount of items that you have to carry from a binocular and a range finder which combined total weight gonna be about the same might be a little different so you ounce counters out there don't rip me up too bad but it's going to be similar in weight and I, with, and I have one piece of equipment, one optic instead of two. I like that. Simplicity saves time, it saves me aggravation, and 
It is equated to more meat in my freezer and antlers on my wall over the years, guys. And that is what these binoculars are all about, Have, getting you to be successful in the field. Now here at Eastman's, we're all about big game hunting, fair chase big game hunting in particular. And that means we're looking for the very specific animal. The optical quality in these, the performance with the TBR slash W computer, just the whole package is going to give you the performance you need to make the shot when it counts. Without a bunch of muss and fuss, these things will get the job done. Head on over to a Leupold dealer, get your hands on these, and like I said earlier, don't just look at them under the fluorescent lights in the store. Take them outside, pop some ranges with them, try them out. I think you're gonna be impressed. And for you guys that are still lugging around a set of traditional binoculars and a handheld rangefinder, Hey, good for you, but if you're interested in streamlining your setup, give these Leupold BX4 Range HDs a shot. I think you're gonna be happy with them. I know I'm stoked to put them to more use. Even what limited time I've got to spend with them over the last few months, I've been really impressed. And that makes me happy. Like I said, I'm a Leupold guy. I like Leupold. All right, so no RF binocular, no optical system is complete until you have a high quality tripod as well. And I've been fortunate enough to run this ProGuide CF 436 carbon fiber tripod from Leupold. I've got the, the spotter on it right now and I've used it for the last couple hunting seasons on and off. It's super light. I can put a rifle access, a rifle clamp on here if I want, or I can just use it as is with, put, just set the binos on it. The Leupold also makes a cool little handy dandy bino strap that goes on the top and that's what I was using earlier to get some of these hard and fast ranges with the TBR slash W calculator. So hey guys, thanks for watching this gear review. Let us know what else you want to see from Leupold and we'll do our best to get it to you. And until next time, we'll see you in the field.